Hey guys, how are you? I want to first thank you so much for joining um, this webinar tonight and um, I give you a little bit of background about myself. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Julia Franz. I am a LuLaRoe consultant um, in New Richmond, Wisconsin. When I first um, found out about LuLaRoe, it's literally been only a year ago, not even a year ago, I was added to a Facebook group and I want a free pair of leggings. I was like, ah, score, I'm going to get a shirt to match it. So I have a full outfit for two for the price of one, right? So I got myself an outfit, got it in the mail. You guys, I put that stuff on and it was like love, love. It was comfort. It was cute. And it made me feel really good. Not only that, I thought, how cool is this consultant like giving me free stuff? This is really cool. So <clears throat> I started probably just like you guys, like joining all the groups to find like all kinds of different patterns and things like that. Now, I was not one to treat myself to things because I um, stayed at home. OK, so I stayed at home, but I did daycare as well. So, you know. I worked, but I did not have like a ton of income coming in because that's the choice that I made for our family. So um, one of us could be there for our kids since our husband travels a lot for work. So <clears throat> I was like all of a sudden getting like, oh my gosh, a pair of leggings a week. Now I know some of you guys are like, that's nothing, girl. For me, that was a lot. And for me, the way they made me feel, it was worth every hard-earned day of money that I made. Because let's be real here, you don't make much in daycare, but it's the most important job out there because your kids mean the world to you. And finding someone who um, you can trust with them and know that they're going to love and care for them is, you can't put a price on that. So that's why I love doing what I did. I love daycare. However, here comes the however, you guys. Um, I actually went to school, to college, for retail merchandising and management. I love fashion. I've always had a love for fashion. Anybody you talk to, like, back in the day, like, that's what it was. I was always, like, that girl who was, like, ahead of the style, and everybody's like, what are you doing wearing flare pants when people were rolling their pants? That was me. So um, I went to college for retail merchant management. My dream has always been to be a buyer or own a boutique, own a store. But um, so I went to school and then I started managing. I started, I've managed stores and then I've even worked some corporate as well. And once um, we started moving around a lot for my husband's job, I too had to job hop with him because he's the most important thing in my life. And so... Um, as a wife, I go with him and support him. Well, guess what? We get married and we had kids. Yeah. Kids came along and once I held that baby in my arms, I said, I can't do these nights and weekends anymore. I can't be forced to work on a holiday anymore. I need to be there with my baby and be there. So um, I started working at a daycare and I loved every minute of it. And then I started my own daycare. And um, we moved um, to the New Richmond area about three years ago. And <clears throat> I um, had two families in the daycare that I absolutely loved. Um, I only had two families because I wanted to keep that connection real. So, but I was kind of losing myself. I was losing who I was, I was losing the conversations between women, I was losing watching women put on clothes and feel good about themselves and helping them pick out styles. I was also missing a team. I was missing going to work, having that team, having that group of women to talk to and push and watch them reach their goals. And when I found LuLaRoe, and I started purchasing LuLaRoe, and I had my first in-home pop-up, I was amazed, like amazed, like I could own my own boutique, seriously, like this could be mine, for what? It was very expensive, 
It was a lot of nights where I didn't sleep. It was a lot of days where I just kept daydreaming about it. It was constant. LuLaRoe, LuLaRoe, LuLaRoe. It was a sign that I needed to do it. I needed to take that leap of faith. And it was a big chunk of change that I had did not have. I mean, I had did not have the money. Okay. So what I did, you know, I talked to my husband about it. He wasn't really on board at first. And so I did not join until he was on board with me. He said, you know what, honey, if it's going to make you happy, anything to make you happy, do it. So I went, applied for a credit card and I put my, I put it all in the credit card. <laughs> Yeah, um, it was really scary. We're talking like $6,000. Oh, baby, back up. $6,000. But let me tell you, it was the best investment that I have ever, ever, hands down, done. I have regained my self-confidence. I have become a better wife, a better mother. I am able to contribute to the family bills. I have been able to bless lives by giving. I can give clothes to women to make them feel good. I've been able to give to charities. That means so much to me. I've been able to give them cash. And that alone is like the most amazing thing. But my ultimate why, why I do this for me. It makes me feel good. It makes me happy. It makes me feel so good knowing that I can give and provide for my family and provide for other families, provide for my teammates, give them assistance, give them help in areas that they need questions on, help find those pop-ups, help find places to host boutiques. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I own it, it's mine. You own it, it's yours. And you can make your dreams come true. Now, let's get into the basics of LuLaRoe, okay? If you're still here, you want to know about this company. So, if you would watch the video prior to this, I gave you a video about Deanne. Deanne is the owner of LuLaRoe. Three years ago, you guys, she was selling skirts out of her car. Out of her car. Three years ago. They just built a shipping center four football fields long. A distribution center. That is how this company has exploded and grown. And it's so exciting that you can be a part of it as well. The top question that I get from people is, do you think this is a fad? Do you think that it's there's going to be like so much LuLaRoe in the area that nobody's going to want to like buy it anymore? Guys, whoa, 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 step back here. That is why I joined LuLaRoe, because every boutique is different. Every boutique. We all may carry the Cassie skirt, but what's so cool about it, we all have different patterns and prints and sizes. My neighbor can be selling the same styles. The customer is still going to want to come to both of our shops because we have different stuff, and it's always going to be that way. There's never going to be special orders. There's never going to be catalogs. They only produce so many of a print, and when it's gone, it's gone. You're not going to see it again. It's kind of like when you were, if you find something that you like, say Maurice's, or I just threw a name out there. Oops. Okay. Anyways, you find something you really like at a clothing store. Okay. You go into another one, they carry the exact same thing. Another one, exact same thing. You're walking out, you're feeling good, you're on a date with your husband, and all of a sudden, you see the girl wearing the same outfit as you. What? What? I felt so good until I saw that girl wearing the same outfit as me. Guys, this, this isn't like that. Lulu Row, you are truly unique. 
You are truly unique in your own patterns, the way you wear the clothes, the way you style the clothes. This is a Carly dress with a Sarah and leggings that I'm wearing. You can style this dress like so many different ways that you could probably wear it like seven days out of the week and look different every time you wear it. That is what is so unique about LuLaRoe clothing. It's modest. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. Makes you feel good. Okay? That It's not going to be a saturated market. Walk into a restaurant and see how many people are wearing LuLaRoe. How many untapped women are there that do not have LuLaRoe yet? I bet you you could count them on your hands. Maybe even one hand. Okay, maybe like two fingers. It's not tapped at all in the area. No matter where you are. Okay. Not only that, women like clothes. Clothes are a necessity. You're always going to be buying clothes right? We can't walk around the streets naked, right? No. So, <clears throat> and I think about that. I think about when I managed um, retail stores, about women when they came in, always looking for the new stuff. What do you have new? What's new this week? Same thing with your boutique that you own. They're coming to you because you got new prints in every shipment. Every shipment. That is something to be said. You will always have new stuff to choose from. You will always have returning customers and new customers. You're not going to have that saturation problem. As long as you work it like a business. <clears throat> now you can work it as much or as little as you choose to. <clears throat> you can host one pop-up a week, three pop-up weeks, or seven pop-ups a week. However you want to manage your business, you can. You have the choice. It's your business. You are welcome to market and sell any way you like as long as you stay in Rural guidelines. They're pricing guidelines online. Okay? Um, another question is, how much does this cost? You guys, sit down. Take a breath. Okay. Are you ready? They offer different packages. And the packages do change. So I'm not going to hold one up and say this is what you get. They're, they do change with time um, based on the pieces and styles and things like that. Startup costs is anywhere around six to $9,000. Or even, or it's, sorry, it's like five to nine. Okay. That includes full selections of your clothes. Dean and Mark do not want to set us. They don't want to set us up to fail. That's not their point. They, they're not in it to get as many pe people to join to sell clothes. They want to see you succeed. I want to see you succeed. My leaders want to see you succeed. Your family wants to see you succeed. They're going to supply you in that startup package with a good amount of sizes in each style. Okay, because when you're shopping, you don't want to pick from like three patterns, do you? I want to see 10 different patterns. That's why it's, it's a big investment because they give you that 10 patterns in each size. So when you get all set up with your first boutique, you're so excited to sell and the women are coming in, they have selection. We all like selection, right? Sometimes it's too much, especially when you're like walking to Walmart and like the cereals are like eight aisles long and four stories high and then yeah I haven't taken the tag off because I just love this outfit okay anyways totally off track there but really think about it as a kid like oh my god the choices kind of like women in clothes oh my god the choices yes okay you also buy your racks your mannequins your hangers business cards things in a business but think of it this way think of it as I own a business. I own a boutique. You are a business owner. You are a boutique owner. Think of the money it would take if you had to take that and rent a space out, get your inventory in, 
get all your supplies in, hire employees, be there nights and weekends because you are the owner, you are the business leader, okay? That's going to be so expensive if you were to own, like, a store standing boutique. What's so unique about your LuLaRoe boutique is you get to travel with this baby. You're not stuck in one market, okay? You're not stuck at all. You can sell all over the United States in a van if you really wanted to. And there are people out there who do it, and I'm super, super jealous. But once my kids get older, you better believe it, I'm going to be tooling around in that, like, motor bus, like, with my LuLaRoe and meeting people all over. Because that is so cool. Okay. Now, another question people ask is, how long does it take to pay back your initial investment? All right, guys, that's a really tough question because it all depends on your drive. Are you a driven person who's like, I am going to do this. I'm going to have my inventory paid back in two weeks. It's possible, very possible. People have done it. Trust me, they've done it. Or are you a person who's like, no, I'm going to give myself time. I'm going to spread my time out because I have a lot going on. I'm going to have that paid off in three months or six months. It all depends what you put into it to get your investment back. Now, your margins are very well with LuLaRoe. Like, you get great margins when you are selling this product. So it is easy to pay back. Um, so think about it that way. Now, if you'd like more details on numbers and things like that, I'd be ha more, more than happy to share them with you over um, email or chat or um, phone, any of that. I'd be happy to give numbers, but I don't want to be flashing numbers all over here right now. Um, another question um, people always ask is, do we get to pick our own um, styles? LuLaRoe has the packages set up, so the styles are already in them. What you get is what you get. People are like, what about the ugly patterns that don't sell? <laughs> Let me go tell you guys something. And I'm not kidding. Everything does sell. Everything will sell. I have had some stuff in my um, inventory that I just sold like two weeks ago that I've had since my initial start. Okay. I thought they were terrible. I'm not going to lie. But they sold and they will sell. However, if you're seriously like, there's no way I've been stuck on this forever. Things are, you know, going right. Like, I don't think so. This is an option that I don't think I would ever recommend doing or anything like that. But they do have the option. LuLaRoe will take product back. You package it up. You ship it back on your money, and then you get a percentage back. So you're not out totally. Um, I would never dream of doing it. Never. Because it, everything sells, and it's awesome. It's great. So everybody has different styles and tastes and clothes. Let's see. Another question that I get a lot. Um, I'm trying to think what else I would get a lot of. I mean, I can order. Oh, I know. Here's one. Here's one for you. Here's a good question. Okay, so once I have my initial inventory, I sell. Do I have to buy like ten packs? Mm mm. Nope. 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 If I sell a large shirt, I'm gonna buy a large shirt back to replace my inventory. So there is always selection for my customers and your customers. It's that easy. LuLaRoe does not force you to buy packs of five when you're reordering. They let us stock our inventory the way we sell it, which is great. One other thing, um, the only minimum requirement is, is LuLaRoe requires us to purchase 33 pieces um, to ship. So once you hit that 33 pieces that you're ready to order, order them, and then LuLaRoe will ship it out for free. You don't pay shipping as a consultant to get that product, okay? Not only that, but LuLaRoe gives, on top of the wholesale cost, they give us 5% off from our order. Why would they give us 5% off from our order? 
Okay. Do you guys see all those giveaways? Like, win the free pair of leggings. Win a free Carly. Win, you know, a Sarah Cardigan. Yeah. That's why they do it. That's why they give us consultants 5% off our wholesale cost, you guys. They want to help us give back. Helping others give back. That's what it's all about. Giving back. And what a cool company is that to ship for free, percentage off to help others. It's a win-win. I want to tell you this company has truly amazed me with how much it has blessed, how quickly it has blessed my life and others all around. And I cannot wait for it to be you and to watch you grow and make your dreams come true because you can do it and I am here for you I am here to answer any questions you may have if you do please feel free to reach out in phone email or I can Skype as well I'm a one-on-one -on -one person and I'm all about Skyping people so hope this was a little bit um, helpful for you and we will talk to you later bye guys <laughs>